Mike Stanton, and this is a BAM Credit Insights video on the University Area Joint Authority in Central Pennsylvania, which is selling approximately $42 million of BAM Green Star sewer revenue bonds. The bonds will be rated AA with a stable outlook by S&P Global Ratings due to Build America Mutual's guarantee, and carry an underlying rating of A- also from S&P. I'm here with Mohamed Zouai from BAM's East Region Public Finance Group, who underwrote the transaction for BAM. Mohamed, thanks for being here. Thanks for having so, me, Mike. Let's start with the basics. What is the University Area Joint Authority and what are the revenues that back these bonds? Yeah, the authority is a provider of municipal wastewater collection and treatment services in the area around State College, including Penn State University. Uh, the bonds here are secured with the receipts and revenues from sewage disposal system. Um, the authority's customer base includes individual retail users as well as wholesale service to the borough of State College. Um, which is the authority's largest single customer, representing about 28% of fiscal 2022 operating revenues. So as you started looking at this transaction, where did you start with the credit analysis to determine if those revenues would be adequate to repay the bonds? Yeah, so first, the authority serves a stable and diverse economic base with a population of about 91,000 people. Uh, median household income is below average, which is common in university communities that include a large number of students. Um, but the authority's rates are affordable as a percentage of income, which gives the authority flexibility to raise when raise rates when necessary. How has the authority's financial performance been in recent years? The authority has historically operated with relatively low margins. Um, it has experienced operating deficits in recent years because of a decline in non-recurring revenues from new development, as well as a rate dispute that led to the Borough of State College withholding some payments. Um, it drew $3 million from its debt service reserve fund in October to meet bond payments. Um, the authority has since increased rates by 5% effective January 1st, and the additional revenue and bond proceeds from this issue will replenish a portion of the reserve fund, as well as support the authority's capital spending. Great. And before we go, these are BAM Green Star bonds, which indicates they're going to fund projects that align with the ICMA green bond principles. Can you tell us more about the uh, use of proceeds here? Sure. The bonds will be used to fund a biosolid handling facility project and to purchase the first phase of an installed solar array. And the capital project is eligible for green bond financing because it supports sustainable water and wastewater management. Thank you, Mohammed. Uh, great to see you here for your very first BAM Credit Insights video. Uh, thanks for watching. For more information about this transaction, please go to BAM's website. A credit presale credit profile has been posted there. Have a great day.